those vegan guys. Oh, thank you. Hi, I'm Paul. I'm Jason. Together we are those, those vegan, vegan guys. guys. We don't do loads of taste tests on this channel, but we do do when a new product comes out. Uh, we did the whole kind of Gardein range when it hits supermarket shelves. Yeah. We do burgers now and again. Um, I'll put our uh, taste tests and reviews playlist up there because we all re also review vegan products and you know from not just big manufacturers but small ones. Anyway, the other day there it was talking to my friend Lucy in the street. All of that was a lie. The other day we did. Uh, I did an Aldi. Mm. Yes. Uh, shopping vlog. Um, we've done two recently while well, well, we've been in lockdown. If you're watching this in the future, this is May 2020. The world's in lockdown because of COVID-19. Schmovich-19. COVID-19. All those who lived in 2020, they can't for forget what they've seen. Lockdown and social distance because of COVID-19. COVID-19! Anyone remember Paul Hardcastle 19? I've just rewritten it for New Age. I'll put our shopping lists up there too so you can see the Aldi shop in which we bought these fine things. So we've got a teriyaki burger. I'll bring it a bit closer. A teriyaki burger and a peri peri burger and I believe Jason's just looked it up and they were 169 169 169 each so it says oven bake for 15 20 minutes respectively and then there's a little packet of sauce in each pack and you put the sauce on for the last five minutes in the oven um, so we're going to get these in now I've got some brown rice we're having brown rice and vegetables very healthy oh yeah very healthy <laughs> no, we're just fancy brown rice tonight. Uh, so we'll let you know what we're like when we're sat in there stuffing our faces. Jason's been very optimistic here and starting filming as soon as the plates are on the table. But it might be too hot to try. Do you think? I don't know. I think we'll be okay. Uh, we did have a bit of a calamity with one of them getting it off the the tray. It turns out that the teriyaki style burger is very kind of loose. The uh, and that's weird because the peri peri one felt looser putting it on the tray and then it firmed up really nice. Yeah. Uh, and it was the exact opposite with the teriyaki one. Um, so texturally, it's going to be quite so interesting, isn't it? We've got it? a lovely mix here of uh, brown rice. I always do 125 grams for two of us. Um, with a big handful of frozen peas, frozen sweet corn and one fresh carrot grated into it. And a callow vegan stock cube um, while it's cooking. Yeah. Mm. I just love vegetable <laughs> rice. That was just steam. Right. So this is what you came for. Mmm. So this is the taste test. Proper. It's still, it's still very, very, very soft. The teriyaki style one. Very soft. Even in cutting it up. Mmm. Very sweet. Mm -hmm. Teriyaki is. <clears throat> I'm having a little bit. Then with a bit of rice with it. I like that it's got firm vegetables in it. Firm, crunchy mm -hmm. bits of vegetable. I just don't think it holds together very well um, in the oven. And you know, when I said and done, they're called burgers, which implies that it's something you put on a bun with stuff. Fair, yeah. I don't think that would necessarily be nice on the bun. Really. I'm finding it much nicer with the rice. Eating it with the rice. Mm, I've just had some with rice. Combo. Mm. But it's, it is incredibly sweet. Texturally, I quite like it. It's got, like you say, it's got some got some uh, different textures in there. Yes. Um, 
I've I mean, got it's 169 for two. Yeah, you can't do you know what I mean? Can. And it's completely vegan. Should try this try the other one. Yeah, the uh peri peri one. Peri peri. Which has got big chunks of sweet corn in it. I can see that straight away. Mm. Yeah? Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I mean it's peri peri, so immediately it's 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 um, reminiscent of Nando's and mm. you know it's got that vibe, hasn't it? Yeah, those kinds of uh, flavors. The sauce is a, is a nice thick sauce and it stayed in place well on top of the burger, whereas the teriyaki one was very very thin and spilled off the sides and burned all the paper. Yeah, Which yeah. bothers me, because I like using my paper a couple of times, me and my, my cheeks get when it comes to grease proof. If you can do it, you've got to do it. Do you mm. know what I mean? So yeah, I totally take your point on that one. Would I have this one on a bun? I'm wondering. Richard. I think m both of them on a bun would be fine. For my palate, the first one is very, very sweet. I think. I mean, that one is, is as well. It's just, it's got that... It's got the threat of spice, but we're spice nuts, so it's like, I'm try it. do you know what I mean? It's like my tongue saying, oh, look at that, trying to tickle me, you know what I mean? I know what you mean. Mm. Yeah, that with the rice, eaten together, mm -hmm. stuffed in my face, and like you said, 169, for two. I mean, you can't. that's just it, you can't grumble. So if teriyaki flavours are your kind of thing, um, and you can imagine having this on a burger, I would just warn you that they are very loose. Um, so maybe get them out of the packet and just firm them up a bit, you know, on the, um, on the tray. They lose the body a little bit. Uh, whereas the peri-peri one will feel very loose and then will go very, very firm. Well, not very firm, but firm enough that you can actually flip it over, no problem. Um, so yeah, yeah, you know, uh, I wouldn't give them massive points for flavour. Good texture, I do like when a burger, instead of just being one consistent, like the meat alternative burgers are kind of one consistent texture. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. They're like a firm meat alternative. These have got vegetables in them, you know, bits of... I think it's like bits of... There's bits of carrot in there for, for sure. Yeah. It's, or is it red pepper? Oh, it looks more like carrot coloured to me, but yeah, it could be red pepper. Well, I mean, we could have just read the packet, it would have said on there, no doubt. But yeah, 169, not bad. The spice is just coming through. Worth though. a shot. Yeah, but it's not going to be anything like... No, no. We're kind no. of, we love all the spice. But it's so. nice that it's there. Yeah. It is nice that it's there. Don't mind my loves, we're going to with this now and um, see you very soon. Check out our recipes playlist up there. And if you're not interested in recipes, if you just like, I'm here for the banter. I like the banter, I like the chit chat me, I like the smooth talking. There are two playlists I could throw up there. One of them is our chats and rants, X live sh X live shows past live shows, chats we've done in kitchen, and uh, also the Skype series that I've started doing recently, talking to vegans from all over the world. People have been loving that. About their vegan stories, and if you've got one to share, let me know down below. Let me know if you've had these burgers, and in what way you've had them and enjoyed them. Um, let me know if you're gonna try them. Let us know how you are. Let us know if you enjoyed this video. Give it a like, give it a thumbs up. Comments on it, say stuff. Become a patron. Love us. We'll love you back. We'll love you. <laughs> we do actually love you. I love you, mister. Love you. Mm -hmm. Want to say thank you very much for watching. And until next time, please do be excellent to yourself. And, and each other. <laughs> Said stuffing shall commence. <laughs>